TuneIn Radio app. Listen on TuneIn Radio. 90.7 FM. The music. You are listening to 90.7 WGCC. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, 2017, and I listen to the J Red Show. Hello, everyone. I am J Red, broadcasting live from the WGCC studios on the third floor of Genesee Community College. Got a great show for you today. <coughs> Start off with the big news affecting the um, football world, affecting the Buffalo Bills. Tyrod. T- Tyrod Taylor has been benched, and Nathan Peterman's in. After two disastrous weeks, the Bills are ready to move on from T-Mobile, and we'll head to um, and we'll start starting Nathan Peterman. I I was I thought I was proven wrong. I'm gonna eat some crow. I thought Taylor was gonna be in. I thought Taylor was gonna be in until. I thought Taylor, I thought Taylor was going to be the starting quarterback until the Bills were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs, or until, or until he got injured. But I was wrong. Sean McDermott said a couple days ago that Taylor was going to be the starting quarterback, but then in 48 hours he saw the clips we were seeing, he changed his mind, and voila, Peter Ben's in. It's a huge gamble because the Bills are still in the playoff hunt. But I like that they're taking chances. I like McDermott. I think he's trying to prove... I, 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 that's one of the reasons the Bills have gotten to 17 years out of playoffs. Because they would look at quarterbacks like J.P. Lossman or Trent Edwards or E.J. Manuel. Like, give him time, give him time. Let's see what he has. Let's we'll see what he has. <clears throat> and in doing so, they pass up on many young quarterbacks who could turn the fortunes of this franchise around. According to the, um, and once again, it's a tale of two different, a tale of two different points of view. Uh, well, people around Western New York are saying it's a bad decision. Um, according to ESPN's comments. Taylor only had two bad games, and you bench him when you're currently holding the last wild card spot for an unproven rookie. Um, and and a, a lot of experts like PW, PWI are saying this is a dumb move. But we here in West New York, who watch the Bills every week, we see more of Tyrod Taylor, and we just see that it's not good enough. Or maybe you're wrong. Maybe you disagree with me. Only one time in 38 games did he throw over 300 yards. So, Taylor's probably the best quarterback of the drought, but he's not good enough. The Bills just need to keep looking for quarterbacks until they have the guy who lead them to the future. And I like to take a hell of a take a chance on Nathan Peterman. But the, this this Sunday, this Sunday's game against the Chargers, this is the season for me. <coughs> <coughs> if the Bills win, then their playoffs, then their playoff odds get very interesting. Because all they would have to do, likely, is beat a terrible Colts team. And then sweep the terrible Dolphins. Maybe even beat them once. Eight and eight, nine. Look at how bad the AFC is this year. Eight and eight, nine, seven might get them in. But if they lose, it's pretty much over. So here's a question I ask you, older Bills fans: What was the biggest regular season game in Buffalo Bills history? Regular season game. Biggest regular season game. The biggest game in Bill's history. The biggest games in Bill's history are obviously the four Super Bowl games in the early 90s and the AFL championship games in the 60s. But I'm, I'm talking about regular season games. 
How big is this game versus the Los Angeles Chargers? <coughs> I've heard a lot of people actually call them the San Diego Chargers. Let me, let me remind you they moved to Los Angeles. But, um, there's not going to be a big crowd, but this is a huge game for the Bills. I guess you could argue the the biggest game the second the biggest game was on January second two thousand five, where well, all they had to do was beat Pittsburgh backups. But still, two things: one, they still needed help to get into the playoffs that year. So even if they did win that game, they would have they still would have needed help. And I don't think they got the help that year. Two, the drought was only at five years at the time. Now it's at 17 years. That's, the, that's, that's another thing that makes this, these next couple games so big. It's the longest playoff drought in not just the NFL, but in all of the big four sports. A win over the Steel... Uh, a win over the Chargers would be huge. Plus, we have a new quarterback coming in. If Peterman looks good, it was like, hey, maybe they found the quarterback. Of course, I still want them to get Sam Darnold or mate or um, Josh Rosen or the the player I really want them to get, Mason Rudolph, from Oklahoma State. He had a career game last week. He picked apart Iowa State, twenty five for thirty one, three hundred seventy six yards and three touchdowns. He's the player I want under center for the Buffalo for the Buffalo Bills next year. He and Peterman. Pretty safe to say after these last two weeks, I'm done with we are done with T Mobile. It's time to move on. <coughs> He's another little on a long list of failed franchise quarterbacks. Ezekiel around the NFL, Ezekiel Elliott will be serving his Withdraws his appeal, and it will be served as suspension. So that debacle is all over. So he'll be serving six games, and then um, and then he's gonna take some time off. And he's gonna be serving six games. I mean, I still think he's innocent. If if, if if still think if he is innocent, then he should sue the girl for slander and force the evidence, especially the cell phone messages asking friends to lie for her, into the open. It's a good thing for Elliott. Stop this dumb tug of war against the league. Just like Tom Brady. Tom Brady had a suck it up last year, served four game suspension, and he came back and they still won the Super Bowl. I think Dallas is 5 and 4 right now. I think they could survive a few weeks without Elliott. I mean, the NFC is tough. They're probably not catching the Eagles, who are the clear favorites to win the Super Bowl, um, to win the NFC East and the Super Bowl. <coughs> Let's see, the Reds, um, but let's see, it's very tight, interesting playoff races for right now. Start with the AFC, Bills are 5-4, and four. they trail the Jaguars, they trail the Titans, they trail the Chiefs, the Patriots and the Steelers 7-2. Right now the, right now the, the three teams that the, war, the Bills have to worry about as of right now are the Ra Ravens, Raiders, and Dolphins. They have a tiebreaker over the Raiders, so they're in the back. Dolphins look like a mess. They allowed three four-point games. The only team that scares me is kind of is the Baltimore Ravens. Because they have a bit of an easy schedule. The Bills need to take care of business. Starting this week versus... Um, starting this week versus Los Angeles. If, like I said, this Chargers game could be one of the biggest games, regular season games in Bills history. I mean... It's a good thing the Bills are in a weak AFC. If they were in the NFC, it wouldn't be close. Atlanta's five. The defending NFC champions, Atlanta's five and four, along with Detroit, Green Bay, and Dallas. <coughs> I actually now that I look at these standings, I think I said earlier that I don't think Elliott should have would affect the the Bills too much. The Packers. I, I said Elliott's absence wouldn't affect the Bills too much. Sorry. Excuse me. Ezekiel Elliott's absence wouldn't affect the Packers too much. Wow. 
Ezekiel Elliott's absence wouldn't affect the Cowboys so much. Yeah. <laughs> but they're 5-4. and four. They got a lot of teams to jump. Green Bay, Detroit, Atlanta, Seattle, Carolina. The NFC is a lot tougher, so Dallas could be in trouble. I mean, I'm glad for Elliott that he's taken the suspension. But, man, there's a lot. He's got The Cowboys have a lot to jump. What are your thoughts on the Bills? What are your thoughts on the NFL? Hit me up on Twitter at JRedShow for any of that. If you have any music requests, hit me up on Twitter at, Twitter at JRedShow. Count next is 33 by Coheed and Cambria. So keep it locked to 9.7, the Music FM. <laughs> 